new lawsuit against Fox News alleging the White House helped push a false story about a Democratic staffer who died. The White House denies that they played any type of role. Let's go to our chief national correspondent, Tom Yamas, for more on this. Good morning, Tom. Robin, good morning to you. There's more legal trouble for the White House, a new lawsuit, and a stunning accusation that the White House coordinated with Fox News on a bogus story, and the lawyer who filed this lawsuit says he's going to depose the president. We're following four huge breaking news stories. This morning, a stunning accusation. Fox News and the White House allegedly coordinated on a fake news story about the unsolved murder of DNC staffer Seth Rich. Rich was killed in Washington last year, sparking right-wing conspiracy theories that he was murdered because he leaked tens of thousands of DNC emails to WikiLeaks, not the Russians. In May, Fox reported they had proof the conspiracy theory was real. If this is true, and Seth Rich gave WikiLeaks these DNC emails, this blows the whole Russia collusion narrative completely out of the water. But it was not true. A week later, Fox News redacted the story. They were using me as a pawn. Fox News contributor and former homicide detective Rod Wheeler was at the center of the Fox News article. But Wheeler says the network fabricated his quotes. The worst quote that was attributed to me was the fact that I supposedly said that I knew for a fact that Seth Rich was in contact and sending emails to WikiLeaks, when in fact I had never made that statement ever. The investigator Wheeler got involved after being contacted by this man, Ed Butowski, a well-connected Republican donor and Trump supporter. In his lawsuit against Fox News, Wheeler says he and Butowski went to the White House in April to discuss the Seth Rich story with then press secretary Sean Spicer. He said that if I wanted to, he could put me in touch with the White House general counsel. Butowski set up the White House meeting. Sean's a friend of mine and I didn't go there for any other reason to say, Sean, what should I do with this? When Fox ran the bogus story, Spicer denied any knowledge of it. Uh, generally, I don't get updates on DNC, former DNC staffers. But today, Spicer acknowledged he did have that meeting with Wheeler and Butowski, calling Butowski a longtime supporter of the president's agenda who requested a 10-minute meeting to catch up. But it allegedly didn't stop there. Two days before Fox aired the story, the investigator Wheeler claims Butowski left him this voicemail saying the White House was on board. I got a note that we have the full um, attention of the White House on this. Then this follow-up text, not to add any more pressure, but the president just read the article. He wants the article out immediately. The donor, Butowski, tells ABC News he was joking and being sloppy with his words. I've never met the president. I don't know the president. The new White House press secretary saying this. The president had no knowledge of the story, and it's completely untrue that he or the White House involvement in the story. If you look at the, again, the text that Ed Butowski sends to Ra, it show part of a, a wider conspiracy. Now, Fox News says they have no evidence the investigator in this case was misquoted. As for the allegation they ran the bogus story to distract from the Russian collusion investigation, Fox News calls that completely erroneous. And George Seth Rich's family says this lawsuit, they hope this ends all the conspiracy theories.